Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. Okay, so we have the high pre I'm sorry, we have the Nine of Cups. I'm looking at the High Priestess here. We have the Nine of Cups. In the Cups, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water sign. And we see the man here sitting um, with arms folded below his Nine Cups. And there's a real sense here that he feels content with what he has, that he's enjoying the comforts that he's worked for, the material and perhaps the spiritual comfort as well, but he's pleased and feeling fulfilled. So that fulfillment also goes toward what this card can also represent. It can be a wish card, and it's a card of wish fulfillment. So this is a week for you to think about wishes and what you're hoping for, to make that wish, to uh, meditate on it and think about it with intention, and it favors it coming true. And so uh, it's a lovely card of being uh, satisfied with the work or whatever you, you've done to get yourself in this position. So then now we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. And the High Priestess is, uh, it's a card of really digging deep and digging deep within, of doing the work of, of paying attention to the messages, your subconscious. Where do those messages come from? They come from our dreams. They come from things that we see in our environment, numbers, messages, words, a fragrance that we might uh, recall a memory. So the high priestess is a sense of, of paying uh, and honoring those, in, those intuitive nudges, those intuitive feelings that you have. So this week, it's important for you to trust that instinct, to trust your inner guides, to look for the messages for whatever is hidden below. You know, you are the keeper of the knowledge. This is a card of more passive than it is than action. So you may want to find a quiet place in your home to meditate, to pray, to journal, to reflect. Maybe it's a matter of just sitting quietly. So now we have guidance for the week. Okay, so we have judgment, also major arcana. And this judgment card is, so we see the, the gray people below rising up out of their coffins and the angel is blowing the horn. It's almost like a call. You're finding your call, listening for the call. And so with judgment, there's a sense it's, it is a judgment of your life and it's a reflection on what has come before, where are you right now, and where are you headed? And the beauty about judgment is that you can start with a clean slate. You know, you're not taking the baggage with you. This is uh, a rebirth. So it's a fresh start and it's never too late for you to have a second chance. It's never too late for you to figure out what your higher purpose is, your highest self, and to move in that direction. No matter what's happened before, you know, you have the call and you have this newfound awareness of what it is that's going to bring you to your highest purpose. So here we have high priestess trusting your intuition. We have rebirth, second chance, you're really paying heed to life purpose and the highest self. And then we have this movement card of the Eight of Swords. And this is leaving behind something that has not made you happy. So while you may have found great comfort in what you've acquired ultimately after thinking and, and reflecting and meditating, you may feel that you need to leave a situation in order to find happiness. So sometimes I read this card as it can be a temporary situation where you need to, again, have some time for yourself to think about things. So you are leaving behind the cups 
with the potential that maybe you can return wiser, a little more self-aware. For some of you, it could be a break. It could be moving on, leaving something, a location, a job, a relationship, a toxic friendship that does not serve you or is not going to allow you to have this second chance in order to fulfill this higher purpose, this higher calling. So now let's see what we have for possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy, Pentacle energy, grounded. Pages are often messengers or this youthful energy seeking to become more wise in the world. And this page is seeking knowledge, is seeking understanding, and is going to do so through hard work, through devotion to study, to uh, getting all the information possible and really understanding it. And so powers of research as well as observation. And you can see that he is studying that pentacle and he's thinking, how am I going to get more pentacles? Pentacles can deal with finances and resources and time and energy. So it's a, perhaps an appreciation as, as you move forward. Put these down. As you move forward in finding your purpose, you may have to do a little research. You may have to do some studying. You may have to figure it out for yourself of the path that you're headed, the path that you're taking. So then possible outcomes, we have the lovers, major arcana. And so the lovers is, it's the focus on a significant relationship and your relationships in your life. So whether you're married or you have a partner or you're hoping to date, your outcome is that as you're moving forward in trusting your guide, making wishes and having this second chance, it seems that at the forefront is that you want the relationship, significant relationship to be happy, to be uh, intimate, passionate, to be open. They're without clothes, they're open. They're allowing themselves the risk of getting hurt. You know, this lovers can, can be transformative in that it can lead to marriage, it could be an engagement, it could be a committed relationship. And if you're already in a committed relationship, it could be even deepening the bond thinking about values, core values, as you move forward, as you move down a path. So very interesting, Taurus, with uh, the three big idea cards here, really, even though the awareness is the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess, we really have to pay attention to judgment, and we have to pay attention to the lovers and the High Priestess wish fulfilled with respect to love, with respect to higher purpose, finding your calling, cleaning the slate, not taking the baggage with you. you will, you're allowed to have the rebirth, to have the second chance. Regardless of age and you know where you're coming from, it's really the awareness. So let's see what the oracle cards have for us. This is a focus area or a uh, meditation point for the week. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. What a beautiful card. So finding sanctuary, it's however you define sanctuary. And so, so that you can uh, have that self-awareness so that you can do the deep dive within the messages, within the things that spirit is telling you, trusting your guides, trusting yourself, a beautiful card to think about. And in busy lives, it's sometimes hard to think that we're not going to have a chance for sanctuary. But if you can, again, create a little sacred space for yourself, 
uh, a time and a place that works where you can have peace and quiet to meditate or to reflect. So now I'm going to choose a card for spiritual self or emotional self. Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. So focus on the light and focus on the light that you share with others and to be authentic in your relationships, to be open and receptive to bringing in love and letting love come out, regardless of whether or not you can get hurt, but really such a lovely message of seeking the light, being the light, and sharing your light. And finally, let's get a little more information for love, and we'll see what uh, what insight we can gain. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to do this. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. 